Hello, Thornton Darts here, back with a, another video. Something slightly different today. I'm going to show you how I managed to rainbow coat my own darts, just using my kitchen. That's all I had. Um, now, what I did was I was on Twitter, and there was a guy, a Japanese guy, who was doing it very well, just on his hob in his kitchen. And I had a conversation with him about how he did it. And he gave me a few tips. So I'll link his Twitter in the description. He does it a lot better than I do and a lot more precise. Um, he can control the colours basically. It's very clever. But I'll show you the very simple version just to get a little bit of a change in colour across the bow. So what I'll do is I'll play a video in the background and I'll basically talk over what I did. So in this video I'm basically above my gas hob, above the flames. I'm basically just heating it up until it gets quite hot. And what happens, as you'll see at the back, it starts to change colour. Now this is called tempering. And what tempering is, is you're basically changing the properties of the dart. And as it gets to certain temperatures, the colour is one of those properties. And depending on what temperature you've got it at, will depend on the colour. So as you can see, I'm putting the dart through the flame and getting a different colour depending on you know how much is heated. So as I put it through slowly, it gives me a different colour because obviously it's different temperatures at the part of the barrel and it gives a really nice rainbow effect as you can see there it's absolutely stunning and then after this what you need to do is then put it straight into cold water with some ice what that does is it quenches it it cools it down immediately and it retains those properties it does change the structure a little um, but yeah it also cools it down so it's safe to handle now I will stress if you are doing this at home you want to try it please be safe I have pliers uh, and some gloves on just so it was very difficult for me to burn myself so if you do do this please be safe and be aware that if you've got paint on your dart it may be worth stripping that off because obviously if the paint um, burns it will be different and also it can create hazardous fumes so I wouldn't recommend doing it on painted darts but as you can see um, from these pictures I'll overlay some pictures over the top some of the results on the barrels I tried it with all three uh, different temperatures and it looked really cool and this is something you can try if you've got a blowtorch at home as well. Um, and just to get some cool results, if you want to turn some basic sort of silver coloured darts into something coloured, this is how you can do it. So something a bit short today, but let me know what you think. Send me some pictures on my Twitter at Thornton Darts. I'd love to see if you guys do it better than me. Uh, it didn't take me very long. So if you guys do it um, the good way, um, take a bit more time with it, you might get some different results. You can plan the colours that you have basically depending on how long you leave it there so do let me know and make sure to subscribe if you want to see these in the future so thank you very much guys ciao